My youngest daughter's name is Goldie. She has golden hair, which is very lucky because if she had come out a redhead or a brunette, that would have been a total crisis, right? We need to rename our youngest child. Goldie actually cut her hair this week with scissors or bangs, right off, front bangs, gone. She's not admitted to it yet, okay? What, what haircut, okay? Uh, this is Goldie, okay? This week, uh, there, was, and there was a conflict happening in my home, and somebody got hurt and runs out of a room with a big cry. I can't even catch the child, right? They go, gone and screaming, right? I'm like, oh man, someone got kicked in the face again. Uh, so I, and it's obvious that Goldie is the culprit, okay? Because she's the only one left in the room, okay? So, uh, so I go into the room, and I have to put on my least favorite parenting hat, the investigator hat, right? Okay, who did what? And then you said what? And then who kicked you in the face? Like, I hate that hat. The facts never align. They never align, right? It is, a, it is an exercise in futility. Well, I go in there, uh, and I can't find Goldie. And Goldie's hiding from me, right? Because she knows she did wrong. And she's up in her bunk bed under the covers. And I go in there, and I say, Goldie, I start my thing. What happened, you know? And she won't even look at me, and she says, I don't want to tell you. And she's crying big tears. I don't want to tell you what I did. And then she says some things that I've never heard from my child, uh, which this is one of those moments as a parent, you go, oh, something new is happening here. And she said, I feel like you should send me away. She said, I'm the worst. And what, what did I do? <laughs> I reminded her who she really is. I said, you are not the worst. Goldie, you are the best. We delight in you so much. You are so fun and creative and kind. You are the best. This is what God constantly does with us in the scriptures. This is what Paul does here. He starts it. He says, therefore, guess what? Therefore, because of you are chosen, holy, and dearly loved. I can't tell you the amount of Christians that these words seem to just bounce off of. They might even say the gospel to other people. But when you try to tell them, God actually chose you. He sees you with delight. You are dearly loved. They feel like it might not be for them. Do you believe this?